All right, so I'm planning on making some origami with uh, Finnish themes, so I call it Fenogami. Uh, let me show you. So this is the uh, cap that uh, characters in the Finnish epic story Kalevala use. So the Kalevala cap. So this is what I'm making and I'm going to show you how to make it also. So what you need is a sheet of paper, that's preferably either white or some shade of blue. So as you saw in the previous caps, those are the two colors that are generally speaking used in the cap. And then you need some uh, either white or blue blue um, paper strips to go with it. So it's not too difficult to make, so I'm going to show you step by step how to make it. First, we need to make this um, a number of folds. So, once in half, then into a quarter, And last one into an eighth. So all right. Now we got some holes. So now the paper should look something like this. So you can improve the folds a little bit there. Okay, it looks pretty nice. So now the other way around. Same thing, but the other way around. Alright, open it up, and now you have this nice little grid, as you can see. So, now, now that we have this grid on the paper, what we want to do is make this, um, take this 2 by 2 uh, square here at the top, and make sure that the folds there are uh, protruding a little bit, so that you can always easily, easily do the do the fold there and then you can see after the two by two square here let's just do that one too so after the two by two square here you can see here the square diagonal we will do a diagonal fold there so now you have two by two and a diagonal fold and then you do the next two by two here at the at the um, the other side of the paper. And then another diagonal fold.
All right, so no, now I've done all the sides. So I did the same thing on every side of the paper. So this is really important because um, because this is what creates the um, base for the for the cap. So now that that's done, you just turn it around. So now the paper should look something like this, and. Uh, what we want to do is we want to lift one of the one of the sides like this, and uh, and then do it to two of the sides. And now you can see that um, that there is some some space here. So you can. But what you want to do is. Um, is do a fold here at the, at the um, between this this flap here and the, and this flap here. So you do a little little uh, little volley fold here, and uh, there you go. So this is one of the sides, and now you do do it on the other side too. And then you just bring down the flap here. And then, then do this this also. So this is this is what one of the sides should look like. Then you just repeat this for every every one of the flaps. All right, now the cap part is done. As you can see, it's a really nice cap. You can round it out a little bit here. All right. You want it to be as, as round as possible since it's meant to be a cap, so. <laughs> All right, so it looks really nice. Little cap here. Should be around the same. Um, when you put it, put it uh, like this, it should be around the same same um, same height on every every side. So this is this actually came out pretty nicely. So, all right. Then what we want to do is to um, make the make the uh, the strips that uh, connect the, connect the sides here. So here you put the put the base of the strip into into one of these. Uh, this uh, fold here, and uh, and then you just snip it here so that it won't come off in immediately, and then do the same thing on the on the other side, and then put it there. All right.
and then the then the last last part of the gap is the the sort of uh, this uh, this side strip here, and uh, what what we want to do is create a little hook on one of one end of the strip. So you can do it like this. So like that. And you want it to be you want it to put it here on on one of the one of the sides with the with the previous strips. You want to hook it out here on the side like this. And then you just run it around the around the hat. And at the end, you tuck it in. And there you go. Obviously, you can use like glue or something if you want. Uh, if you want these these strips to stay uh, stay there better, but you know it doesn't really matter. Anyway, if you if you don't like moving a lot, it's it's fine like this. So the hat is finished finished if you will and uh, yeah it's the Kalevala hat and uh, it's really a really easy origami to make you can make it with with uh, kids or whatever they, it's not that difficult so everyone can really make it if they just spend a little time little time working on it and it's no problem so yeah these are these are the hats that I made just now and uh, yeah Really nice hat. Personally, I like this one the best since it reminds me of the Finnish flag. <laughs> but but this one's really good too, and this one's okay too. So yeah, that's the that's the Kalavala hat, and uh, I hope you learned something today. So there you go.